Hey guys, today let's make some eggs. There's a couple in there. I'll show you what we're going to do with them. Okay guys, we're going to boil all these eggs. We've got a bunch of eggs in there. We're going to make some deviled eggs. Now, here's a little trick I learned a long time ago. When you're using like 12 eggs, um, get you a, a tablespoon of sugar and put it in there. Now what that's going to do is that's going to make the egg cells, egg cell, egg shells softer. So, a lot of bubbles coming up off of them, so hopefully they're not already cracked. But anyway, we're going to be making deviled eggs. Now over here, this is monkey supper. I'm making some hot wings, and they're huge. But this is about the eggs. So we're going to let these boil, and then I'll show you what else helps make the eggshells come off easier. So stay tuned. Let's let these boil. Okay, guys. I've got my eggs boiled. Now I've strained them in this strainer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into an ice bath to cool. Okay. Now I'm going to let them fully cool. Let them get all the way cool. So we'll give it a few minutes and then we'll come back and we'll go ahead and um, peel them. So stick around. Okay guys, they have cooled down. It's been about 10 minutes. So let's see how well these um, these will peel for us. Um, that seems to be a lot of problem for a lot of people, including me. Of course, I'm not a chef, but um, to have them peel and without getting them all messed up, you know, especially when you're doing something like this. So, like this one here is a little bit of a problem, but once you get past the membrane, you're okay, but you can see there it kind of nicked it a little bit, but that's okay. We're not, we're not really into culinary arts here. We're not going to try to show these off. We're going to eat them. Now, yes, you're going to say, wow, that's going to be a shitload of deviled eggs, but you're going to have to tune in to the video right after this one because the next video you're going to see why I made so many but I'm not going to tell you you gotta tune in and watch and I know some of you guys hate that oh, I hate that to be continued stuff well it's not really to be continued because that's a that's a totally different video in itself but you'll know why I made so many on this video see I kinda of ripped that one So, but monkeys in bed sick so she, I've got to, uh, I've got to service the transmission tomorrow on the truck. So I figured since she's probably not going to be able to go to work tomorrow, I'll go ahead and do that tomorrow and I'll do a video on that. But, uh, yeah, it needs service to slip it. I don't know if it's going to help it any, but I mean, you know, see that one kind of got ate up a little bit. But thing of it is is you know if it don't help at least we tried you know we've got a 50 50 chance of it helping either way if we don't do anything it's going to go out and if we do it's going to go out so anyway these eggs are not peeling very well but sometimes you get eggs like that and then sometimes you get eggs that just just fall fall right up right apart but anyway when you put the sugar in it does help it I mean I can tell a difference on it so, and I'm sure you guys got hacks that you can do and that helps out for you guys and stuff. So, really there's no right or wrong way. Just, you got to peel them. So, I'm going to peel these up and then we're going to cut them in half. Okay, now I boiled these for 15 minutes. And as you can see, they're coming out pretty good. See, they're... Sometimes they won't fall out like that, but that's a good thing. They didn't peel the greatest. Uh, these were the worst eggs I ever had to peel in my life. 
usually they they'll come right off but you win some you lose some okay so there's there's that now all right I didn't need my spoon that was just in case I had to uh, dump them out of there okay let's get on to making this stuff okay now we're just gonna we're gonna smash this up we're just using a fork but what I do sometimes when I'm making this many I'll actually use the uh, beater, or beater, yeah, the, the mixer, you know, uh, like the cake mixer thing, just a bzzz, but I'm not going to do that right now, I'm just kind of showing you, you got to get all these until it's, oh, you know, I won't say like a sugar consistency, but you know, get it mixed up pretty good. I mean, you don't want it too thick, right? Kind of like maybe a, some coarse sand. But, you know, it's up to you how fine you want it and all that. But, okay, now our ingredients. A lot of people like to put a couple drops of hot sauce in, which we're not going to do because we're having hot wings for supper tonight. Uh, and some people will put, um, shoot, we'll put... Uh, relish in it. You can do that. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're just making plain Jane. And so what we're going to need is we're going to need mayonnaise. I guess you can use Miracle Whip if you want. We're going to use some mustard. Uh, it's best if you use Dijon. It gives it more flavor, but that's okay if you don't have any. I don't have any, so we're just using yellow mustard. Now we're, uh, I like to use apple cider vinegar, but I don't know if I've got enough vinegar or not. So I'm going to use this with it just in case. But, now what I usually use, now these measurements aren't perfect, but say like about three tablespoons per six eggs. We've got 18 eggs in here. Well, actually we have 20. I had to give two to Monkey because I destroyed them. But we've got 20 eggs in here, so let's call it 18 eggs. So, we're going to need nine tablespoons of this, and we have a tablespoon right here. So... And, like I said, don't have to be perfect. Most of the time, I won't uh, measure it. I think that's seven, right? But, yeah, you don't have to measure it. If you want to go by... Like this, this type of measurement, and then, and then go by, uh, go by taste. That's fine too. Now we've got teaspoon. I'm going to use three teaspoons of vinegar, which I would use one teaspoon per six eggs. So I'm going to use be. Oh, we may have enough. There's one, two. Damn gnats. And there's three, okay? Alright. So that's good enough. Now we're going to use one tablespoon of mustard per six eggs. There's one. Two. Like I said, I usually don't measure, but this way it's just giving you an idea to go by. You can start with this. If you want a little more mayonnaise, add a little more. You want a little more mustard, vinegar, add it. You know, it's it's your creation. This is just kind of just the base. You know, just you know what I'm talking about. All right, so there's that. Now we're just going to mix this up. Like I said, some most of the time I'll just use, I'll I'll use a mixer for this, but and you can add salt and pepper if you'd like. Um, this will go on afterwards. Um, this is paprika, but I'm going to use smoked paprika. But like I said, we're not going to. This is not going to be a presentation. Yes, this is just this. These are eaten eggs. They're not to look pretty, and you'll see why in the next video. All right. So let me go get the eggs, and we'll we'll fill the eggs up with our with our stuff.
Now what you can do is you can use um, a baking pipe thing, you know, a piper that you, you can do that. You can also, I'll show you what else you can do. You can take a baggie. Now it's best to use like a Ziploc bag, but I don't have any. This is just a little sandwich bag and I'll show you. You just want to fill this up. Fill your baggie, get it kind of full. I know most of you guys probably already know this, but for the people that don't, or you know, I, I do have a younger crowd that watches as well. Sorry, that watches as well. So maybe they're you know they're just learning to cook or whatnot. Okay, now you're going to take that. I made mine a little messy because I don't have the right baggie, but kind of go like that and you're going to want to just trim your end off Jesus Christ just trim your corner piece off just like that and start where you whoops and just squirt it squirt it in there just like that hmm. I messed up on that one Okay, it tastes about right. A little sour, maybe. Maybe I should have added some more. Oh, I might have. Maybe should have added some more uh, mayonnaise to it, but but it's okay. And you just do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill these up. Then we'll show you what they look like. Okay, guys. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much how you make it. It's like I tell you, and it's like anything else. Use, you know, use your imagination. Do use what you want to use, and however much to the flavor that you like. You know, um, like I said, it's not for presentation. I usually make them look pretty if I'm taking them somewhere. But like I said, this is just for eat. Whoa, this is just for eating. So we're just going to put a little paprika. This smoked paprika gives it a a different little flavor. Uh, it gives it paprika flavor but it's smoked so it's so this if you want like to a barbecue or something that's that's the stuff you want to take the smoke the smoked paprika okay so there you go okay guys so there you go that's pretty much in a nutshell that's the easiest way to make deviled eggs that's the quickest way like I said you can get creative you can put whatever you want in it uh, like I said you can you can you can use horseradish instead instead of the uh, the mustard or you can mix a little bit of both uh, relish uh, you can put a little hot sauce in even a tiny drop of barbecue sauce for a barbecue you know what I mean then use your smoked paprika it's a good hit I've, I've done it uh, many different ways but this is just you know standard way of doing it and no I'm not going to taste test it you got to watch the very next video following this one for me to taste test this and you'll see why when you watch that video hopefully you watch it so please come back all right guys so there you go Shea Bear the myth man legend I am chef Shea Bear but I'm not a chef <laughs> just a little play on words there so all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it there you go your deviled eggs all right so y'all have a good one take care we'll see you soon bye bye